Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chloe, and today I wanted to take you guys shopping with me in the Los Angeles Fashion District online. So, everybody is stuck at home. We all have the stay at home order right now. So, um, because of that, I've had to find new vendors online which is actually good news because I've put in more work into looking into who I'm buying from because I can't read people in person like I usually can. Um, but I found a couple of websites last night and I wanted to share them with you. I'm also going to look for some right now, but one of the websites I found last night was really high on the Google search results but looked super sketchy. So um, just like counterfeit ish so I will show you guys exactly what I'm talking about I also found a couple of really legitimate good-looking websites that I'm really excited to go on because my application finally got accepted um, that's a big thing is if you don't know you do need a wholesale license to access legitimate wholesale websites I don't think it's legal for you to buy in wholesale without a license. So I got my license from Fast Filings. Um, basically they just file for you at a little bit of um, a charge, a charge, a fee. It was really quick, really easy. There Do not order a hard copy of your license because um, they send you your paper copy. And then that's already 40 something dollars, almost 50. And then they send you, if you order the additional upcharge, like $25 hard copy license, um, they send it on a piece of yellow paper. So you pay $25 for a sheet of yellow paper instead of the white one. It's the biggest ripoff in the world. Customer service will not help you get your money back. I went through that trying to like legitimize myself a little bit more like maybe one day I'll have a storefront let me get the hard copy and they sent it on like construction paper so I was really upset personally um kind of scammy but anyway the reason why I'm not going back to uh, my shoe vendor that I found in downtown is because um, even though the guy was really nice, he had great prices, really knowledgeable and friendly, um, high quality product. I don't have any complaints about the business. Perhaps they have not responded to my emails because of the virus, but there are plenty of companies that have responded to my emails and um, it left a bad taste in my mouth when a month went by and I didn't get a response and then I messaged I emailed him about a week ago again asking how I can order directly from them online and again no response so for me I would never ignore customer inquiries so I don't know what's going on but I just found it unreliable in a way and it's nothing personal just business wise I don't want to partner with people who won't respond to me in a prompt manner because I always will it's just personal but um Maybe I'll do business with them in the future again. But for right now, I'm looking at different shoes and jeans websites because that's what I'm looking to buy today. And I'll give you guys my personal opinion on the websites that I'm viewing. If I feel like the prices are good, vendors from Fashion Go offer price matching. So if you find the same item elsewhere at a lower price, they'll match that price. Independent vendors don't always do that, meaning that they're not on Fashion Go. So it just depends. This all depends. This is new to me. Like I've gone in person many times. I have not ever tried to find vendors online because I do live 10 miles from the fashion district. It's okay. It's probably something good to know anyways. But I just wanted to share with you guys my findings during this and my thoughts on it. Here is why am I wholesale. So basically a little brief overview of the website is they have different collections that they feature during different seasons. So right now they're featuring their dream collection and this is one of the tabs that you can click on 
to show different jeans that they're selling. I believe that this is the sale section right now. So as you can see, there's a lot of options and I would recommend going to a sales section before you go to regular shopping only because it's really important to save as much money as you can when you're first opening a business. So they have a little size chart at the bottom and then their description and these are the ones that I actually ended up getting. So I ordered one pack of these. I have since got these in the mail and I got the full pack from YMI about three days ago, so towards the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you guys a try on haul and a review now that I have them in person. So just wait until the end of the video to see that. Now we're on to Bell or Belle Wholesale. So I don't want to get myself in trouble and jump to conclusions without any proof but there are a couple of things that I do have proof of from this particular website and it's that a lot of their stuff that they have listed is not photos that they own meaning that influencers faces are cropped out of each photo and then the photos look stolen and what that tells me is if an influencer posted a picture, for instance, and then a company comes in and takes the photo that they posted and doesn't actually have the product that the influencer is wearing, but they use that product photo, for one, they're stealing a picture for selling purposes, which is illegal. And then number two, it's sketchy because they don't have the same product to sell to you. So essentially they're lying to a customer. So this entire website has so many items that sketch me out. Some of it actually I've bought in wholesale, not from this website. Some of the jewelry I have bought in wholesale and I really don't know the quality of this website, but I did come to a conclusion when I was looking at all of this. So there's a photo coming up very soon and it's of the main model for our outfit of the day fashion or fash. So the reason why this is so sketchy is because they stole the photo from outfit of the day fash and they're pretending like they're going to ship you the same item and this was actually really consistent on this website seeing people using other people's photos which just makes me wonder what you're actually going to be receiving in the mail i don't want to go into this for way too long but basically this is the photo that i was talking about this is the model from outfit of the day fash she has the same hair same skin tone and most of all it's the same tattoo on her chest that she has in every inventory photo that they take so they stole the photo and put it on one of their products so you really don't know what you're getting in the mail so here's the shoe website that i was talking about that i found to be incredibly good deals if you buy from any shoe vendor basically what happens is you have to pay shipping if you can't pick it up and a lot of times people don't live a distance close enough to pick it up so if that's the case what ends up happening is you order them online and you have to pay hundreds of dollars for shipping sometimes so if you spend over $75 and you use the code free ship then what happens is you get um, free shipping over $75 so that's really awesome if you're buying for business you likely will spend over $75 um, it's really hard to spend under that when you're buying in wholesale so the other awesome thing about this website is that when you add more than 15 pairs of shoes to your cart um, you automatically get 20% off for wholesale pricing so if you wanted to, you could shop for personal use on here, and it's fairly affordable. Um, I don't think the prices are bad, but it's just really cool that you can do that. 
So what I'm getting so far, I wasn't going to get these because of the price, but I kind of was just at a point where I, I loved these. I was like, are you really going to let the price affect bringing something into your store that you really like? Since there's no audio right here, I thought I would just let you guys know that all the styles I'm showing you are super on trend if you're looking to get them for your store. I would not actually use the stock photo for these, and that is because if you look right here, if I end up using the stock photo for these, then this is such a dark contrast that on the white background, I think it almost takes away from these shoes. I'll need to take a photo of my own that's going to match the quality and the boutique-like look of the bandana heels. I don't know why I like these. They look like high fashion like Crocs with how the shape of the shoe is, but I really like them. Um, I've seen them all over lately. The nice thing is, is they have these little disclaimers down here about how they have secured checkout, satisfaction guaranteed. So the next item I got, or I'm going to get, are these. I believe Neiman Marcus, which is a more expensive shoe brand. I don't know what else they sell, but um, I believe that Neiman Marcus is the designer that originally created these. I hope this gave you guys some guidance on different websites you could turn to or look at for wholesale for jeans and shoes so now we're just gonna get into my review and my haul of why am i jeans i just got my shipment of jeans so i wanted to share with you guys my thoughts on the company my review on the product the quality um my expectation versus reality and just my first overall experience buying a pack of jeans online so i'm also going to show you them on i am wearing them right now um also as well as that i have shoes from hot miami shoes coming in um earlier in the video i showed you guys kind of the styles i was looking at i did not end up getting most of them i ended up getting different styles but i'm gonna do a haul video on that if you guys want to see the quality and also just like my overall thoughts on it um so i went with why am i jeans and hot miami shoes because why am i jeans kind of intrigued me because they have a trademarked stitching and the stitching is supposed to make your butt huge so of course i was like hmm like i want to try that so i thought maybe customers would be interested in that we are in the age of everybody you know, wanting to look really curvy like a lot of models are these days. So I thought it wouldn't hurt to try their jeans and if I don't like them, I can just go back to the fashion district when it opens back up. So they came like this in a pack of, um, like a plastic pack inside of a big box. So your first order gives you free shipping, which is awesome because these are heavy and I imagine they would be costly to ship. So. Let me show you up close. This is how they look as far as tags. The suggested retail price is $65, so I think I'm going to charge $50. Just because I don't want stuff sitting there forever, and I wouldn't buy jeans for $65. So, um, This is the stitching. As you can see, this is a smaller size. So these are also juniors. I'm really short, so I bought juniors so I can model them. And um, my... My jeans always roll up at the bottom because I'm so short, so um, I got juniors. Okay, so the stitching, it goes up and it's trademarked so no other company can use it, which is really cool because it's the only jeans like it. And when I was growing up, I always saw why am I jeans on posters and billboards on Hollywood. Um, bus stop stations like everything so it's really cool to have my first brand that I bought from in wholesale be YMI jeans so they're really stretchy and I'm wearing them and they're so comfortable like 
I personally would completely buy these myself. Um, I'm wearing them, but I don't keep my own inventory usually. I use it to model other clothing. So these jeans will stay in my office basically. And then um, once they're out of season or I get a new pack, then I'll go ahead and um, bring them into like my own clothes, my own closet. So it's a business expense for me. It's not like, oh, I'm gonna go wear my inventory. Like, <laughs> I don't know if people do that, but um, I imagine it's tempting for other people because I know it is for me, but yeah. So I really like them. They're great quality, um, super comfortable. Like, I feel like I'm wearing silk right now. So I'm really happy with my purchase. And also my website is launching in two weeks. So I'm so excited, like I'm so, so excited because I feel like it's been a long time coming for this and um, it's really been a lot financially and emotionally just to start my own website to go from third party companies like Poshmark and Mercari, which I've been making really good money on, but they take 20% and 10%, like com the companies take different percentages. And by cutting out that middleman, I can offer my customers 5% lower prices and then another 5% towards charity. So, um, also, my company is charitable towards a cause that is very near to me for my growing up, my past. Um, a big part of my story is addiction. Basically, the charity that I went with is one that I am so passionate about. And the founder gave me the go-ahead to put a link to their um, donation and website and charity on my website, which is awesome. So basically what they do is I went with the charity to write Love on Her Arms. It's a nonprofit organization, and what they do is they help people who have gone through mental health uh, struggles, mental illness, and addiction. So it's really nice to know that there's a foundation out there that's targeted towards helping something that is so, so serious and so prevalent in the world right now. And um, a portion of all of my proceeds from my business will be going to the right love on her arms. For the most part, I, I think for me, I'm most excited that I get to give back to people who were in my position years ago and then maybe they can be in my position now in a couple years. I'm just so excited, I'm so passionate about this. I'm going to be doing a part two with the Hot Miami Shoes haul. So again, I went with Hot Miami Shoes and Why Am I Jeans. Um, my website will be up by the end of May 2020. So if you wanna check it out, um, it will be up soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the jeans look like on. And then um, I'm just gonna wrap it up here because um, like I said, the shoes aren't here and they won't be here for like a week. So here are what the jeans look like on. So as you can see, these are midi jeans. They don't reach completely high-waisted and they're not regular to your waist. So they're just in the middle and I really like them. There's the trademarked stitching that I'm about to show you right up close. So as you can see, it does a curve and it's meant to make your butt look bigger and a little bit more full. And it does have that effect. I'm definitely very happy with them and they're really, really comfortable. One other important thing that I forgot to mention is how much I got all this for. So I went to the sales section for the reason of I'm starting a new business and I feel like it's only responsible to get the lowest price possible because this is a very financially stressful time for me um, and I feel like if it's way too stressful then maybe it's not the right time for someone so if you're thinking about starting a business if you know it's gonna drain you from money I've already spent over a grand so Basically how I was able to do that though is I took my reinvestment money from my other two um, My other two websites that I sell on and I saved it and then decided to Know that I won't make as much money by not putting that into product and putting it into 
inventory and staging and everything that's come with this so yeah it's been expensive but it's gonna be so worth it so basically this was in total with free shipping on my first order $120 for 12 pairs which is such a good deal like it is a great deal jeans typically cost about $15 a pair depending but that's the price range my phone died, sorry. So that is the price range that um, you would typically find in wholesale for jeans. I really, oh my gosh, I was so stressed trying to find jeans to sell. Like, I was looking online, I was like, there's no way this is $15 a piece. But it is. So, um, bigger, bigger, bigger companies get better deals, but most wholesalers get them for $15. So... Or, um, I meant most, um, buyers get them for 15 So, you know, it is what it is, and if you want to start a business, you got to do it right, because otherwise it will bite you in the future, and then you got to go back and do it right anyways. So, I would rather just spend all the money to do all this right. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video on getting my website built, because that's been a whole other thing. And I've learned a lot of valuable information throughout it and what you should prepare for. So that's been another thing that I've been working on a lot right now. Um, I hired somebody to do it, but there's still a lot of work on your part when you hire somebody to do it. So best financial decision I've ever made. It's probably saved me six months of taking web design classes. So let me know if you guys want to see a video on that. And also part two is coming with Hot Miami Shoes. You guys know what I think. So as far as these jeans go, again, I think they're really good quality. I'm very happy with my purchase. Yeah, I really like them. I don't really have anything else to say. I don't want to go into like detail more just because they're good. They're really, they're much better than I thought. When they were first in the package and I saw them like this, I was like, oh, that's really thin, like paper thin. But I see why they're paper thin now, because they're super stretchy and they're made with a weird material, like so soft. So very worth it. I love it. If you guys want to buy these, um, if you come to my Poshmark or Mercari, I'll give you 30% off. Just let me know that you're from YouTube. And um, also, if you guys want to buy these for a full price from my website, then that will be up in two weeks. And I appreciate all of your support, honestly. It means so much to me. My website is Anna J's Boutique. So if you guys want to check it out, I'm going to put a link down below. I'm also going to link Hot Miami Shoes and Why Am I Jeans. I'm not going to link the weird wholesale website that it sketched me out just because, like, I wouldn't recommend it, but I've never shopped it, so don't want to get in trouble, I don't know. I just wouldn't personally recommend that to somebody who's buying in wholesale for the first time, you know, just like looking out for other people who might not know. So anyways, thank you guys for watching, sorry for rambling, there's so much going on in my business life right now, but um, again, I appreciate the support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!